Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in today's video we're going to be going through this week's Forzathon event um, which is called the Stuff of Legend which is based around you using a classic sports car of your choice. Um, so without further ado, you know I don't like hanging around, let's get stuck in. So first of all you're going to want to pick a classic sports car now you can obviously pick whatever one you want you can go for a classic 71 skyline um, or you can do what i did and go for the 73 ford capri rs 3100 now i recommend tuning it to get through the challenges quicker um, and especially the uh, first challenge you will probably want it tuned uh, as most of them are actually quite slow so obviously i've created a tune for you guys it's called s2 capri you can find it on my storefront uh, and it's basically i've tuned the capri up to over a thousand brake horsepower so it's very very quick and you will blast through the challenges so obviously first challenge complete all you have to do is leave the auto show in your classic sports car now as for the second challenge it wants you to earn a total of nine stars from speed zones in your classic sports car again this is actually fairly easy um, so you can filter your speed zones um, to whichever one you want uh, but i went for this one up here called forest green now the reason uh, i chose this one is because all you need to do to get three stars is hit 90 mile an hour which is very very easy in the ford capri especially with the tune uh, it's actually a really easy speed zone it's always the one i use now you can use the same speed zone over again or you can use different ones like i said um, and you don't have to get three stars you can get two stars and keep doing it but obviously it's quicker to get three stars as all you have to do is three runs um so like i said this speed track speed zone is actually really quick and really easy uh it literally took me about two minutes just one run turn around another run and then turn around again do your third run uh, and it's nine stars quick and easy like i said all you need for three stars is to hit 90 mile an hour so you can keep it at 100 if you want to make it more controllable it's entirely down to yourself but it's a very easy speed zone and i recommend using that one now for the third challenge here it wants you to win a road racing series event at the colossus now if you filter your map just to show road racing events you will see at the bottom of the map there is the colossus now this is a sprint race which takes uh, which is about 12 miles long but you do not have to do the full colossus race allow me to show you as you enter it and you click on solo if you go across to custom events and then hit your right trigger twice to trending today you will see a custom route uh, made by made by racer rob it's called easy quick forzathon s9 autumn now this is actually really quite clever and definitely time saving as it took me seven seconds to complete um, and what he's obviously done is created a race where he's put the finish line i don't know half a mile in front of the start line but he sent the ai to go off road so you can just bomb it straight down so it doesn't matter what difficulty you're on you will win all you have to do is go in a straight line like i said it doesn't matter what difficulty you're on for this challenge all you have to do is win and because it was created at the colossus you will complete the force on challenge very crafty very clever i love it um which makes the challenge very easy so that's probably one of the quickest force on challenges to complete uh only took me seven seconds to win that race so there you go that's a little trick for that one there um, and now the final challenge just wants you to get a total of 250,000 skill scores in your classic sports car again it's another easy one uh, i recommend you go over to the airfield as there is lots of stuff to smash into now always check with your car under the car mastery what sort of perks you can get just to make it a bit quicker and easier um, so on the ford capri there is a couple one called drift destroyer which gives your side swipe skills uh, an increase of 20 percent and natural drifter which gives your drift and e-drift skills uh, an increase of 30 percent which obviously gives you more points to bank which will get you closer to that two 250,000 skill score uh, a lot quicker and it will make life a bit easier for you now if you're going to do it all in run, one run all you need is 50,000 skill points and then it's multiplied by five and like i said at the airport there's lots to smash into there's some jumps uh, you can just drift most of it but it literally took me about five minutes to rack up that skill score uh, obviously try not to crash and if you think you're going to crash you can get the perk uh, that costs 25 skill points um, that will basically allow you to give you a second chance so to speak uh, anyway i hope this video helped you out if it did don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like this uh, with everything gaming but last of all a massive massive thank you for everyone's support like i said i hope you enjoyed and i hope it helped you out all the best guys